So far in this series, we've only talked about the things that normally run on the server. This part will focus on the client side of a script, which is usually responsible for user interface and overlay graphics. Let's make a nameplate script to display each player's name above their head. For this, we'll use the client draw callback and the regular UI functions. The client part of a multiplayer script typically runs on multiple computers, one for each player, including the server. So you can think of the player hosting a game as both the server and one of the clients at the same time. Just like on the server side, we can iterate over all players and for each player, we retrieve the player name using the get player name function and then retrieve the player transform and use the UI functions to draw the name above the head. We don't want to draw our own name, so the local player is excluded by using the get local player function. It is safe to read things from the scene in the client portion of the script like this, but note that functions that modify the scene are usually only allowed on the server. You are, for instance, not allowed to call make whole from the client side, since that would potentially alter the scene. API functions required to run specifically on the server or client are marked as such in the documentation. Let's extend our previous button example and add a counter that displays how many times each player has pushed the button. Drawing text to the screen has to be done from the client draw function, but all the button logic happens on the server. So how can the server and client parts of the script communicate? There are actually several ways to do this, but the easiest one is to use the shared table. This is automatically created for each multiplayer script. You can put anything you want in it on the server side and it will automatically replicate and show up for each client. Clients cannot modify the shared table, so consider it a read-only thing on the client. Let's use the shared table to make a score counter for each player that gets incremented every time the button is pressed. On the server, all we need to do is just make sure an entry exists for each player and modify that value when the button is pressed. The engine will detect that the table has changed and send the changes to all clients. On the client side, we simply read each player's score from the shared table and draw it to the screen. The shared table is unique to each script, so it can only be used for communication between the server and client part of the same script. To communicate between two different scripts, you can use the registry or events. You can put anything you want in the shared table, but keep in mind that every time something changes, that altered data need to replicate over the network, so having a lot of data there that changes often will require more bandwidth. So it's recommended to keep the shared table lean and not change it more than necessary.